Hey there warriors, in this tutorial we are going to create this modern looking signup page which is going to validate the form you are trying to send and in the end it's actually going to really create the user, it's going to put the data inside the database. So when we go on our users page on admin we are going to see all the users that have been created on our signup page. This entire admin panel was created in one of my previous videos, if you haven't seen that one check above and I'm going to implement a bunch of features on this one also, so make sure to stay tuned, join the horde, subscribe! Let me show you quickly what we have created so far if you haven't seen the previous video. So we have this whole admin panel working in light and dark mode, it's also working perfectly in all resolutions, so we have this drawer for example for our mobile view, for the sidebar, and also all the links in sidebar are working except we have only users page. So here on the users page we are actually calling our database which is stored in Neon and if I refresh here you can see that TRPC is shooting the data except it's empty, I deleted all the users because our task today is to create a registration page and add new users which are going to be displayed in this table here. Let's roll! First thing I'm going to do is to create new page which I'm going to call signup. So inside I'm going to create page.tsx and we're going to use shedcn block for that one. So I'm going to shedcn documentation blocks page and it should be in the end here. Here it is. So we are going to copy this whole signup form from here and copying that one going to our page.tsx that we just created and here it is. I'm just adding here default and we are missing the label so going to the components here and searching for label. Here it is. Now I'm going to run this command opening my terminal and I'm going to copy paste here the command to add the label component. That one should be successful. There it is. Now if we check here this one should disappear and I'm going to call our page sign up. Let's go to our app to see if everything is working as expected. So here I'm going to type in instead of users sign up and we have our form. It's looking nice except we need to remove this whole layout and it should be outside of this admin because if you're creating a new profile you shouldn't see the admin page. So what are we going to do is we are going to create a new folder here admin. So all admins are going to have the prefix admin for the admin panel. In the admin directory we are going to copy paste this entire page which is our dashboard. So if we check here that's this page you have no products. It's not that important because we are not using it but we are anyway going to use it here as our dashboard so I'm copy pasting that entire thing and also I'm going to create layout.tsx where we are going to copy and paste this entire layout but we are going to leave only this part from here so I'm going to delete everything else the html body trpc provider and team provider because we are going to leave that one in the original layout from here so here I'm removing all these things that are only in admin and now if we go we probably need to change here also the to remove everything that is not needed from here and we're probably not shooting the globals.css right it should be here so now if we check this is our index page and if we go to admin then we have our normal admin here. So now if we go to sign up, it's only this and without the sidebar, header and everything admin related. That's what we wanted. We just need to style this up a little bit. So we want it to be centered on the screen, not here on the top. So we're going to the page sign up and here I'm going to create a new div and I'm going to close the tag here. Here we're going to put the flex justify center not between then item center inset of zero and absolute so like this we are literally just putting our whole div 
to be across the whole page and we are centering everything that is inside in our case it's only the card so we have this one now set and if we go to our index page here we have this thing we are just going to put their index page and we are going to deal with that one in some of our next videos so we can just say here our landing page and nothing else i'm just going to delete the other stuff like this okay and now we need to deal with our sign up so if we check the differences between this page and schema i'm going to schema.ts from drizzle here you see that we have id email username and created that so we don't have first name last name first thing we need to do is to replace this with only username so we are going to use username not first name last name and also we need to add additional column called password so i'm going to add that one right now and i'm going to call it password so it shouldn't be null but it doesn't need to be unique just like this so we added a new column and now i'm going to run the command to push that to our neon the command is npx drizzle kit push so this one should push it to our database let's see if it's working it seems that it, it is i'm going to neon tech and here i'm logging in to my account and going to orkish full stack admin and here if i go to my tables we can see that actually we have id email username created it and password so that one was successful nice now we can change our sign up page so here before changing anything we need to install shed cn forms so i'm going to the shed cn documentation again and here i'm searching for the form here it is and I'm going to run the command to install that component. So this one is not only installing the form, it's installing the React forms and Zod and bunch of things. Let me show you quickly here if we go to manual. So it's installing Redix UI, React Label, React Slot, React Hook Form and Hook Form Resolvers and Zod. So we need all of that. We are going to validate our form. And in the end, we are going to save it with TRPC route to our database. So we installed our form. If we check here, it's done. And we can now continue with the documentation. So first thing is to create a form schema. I'm going to copy paste this one and put it inside of our signup page. So I'm putting that one here pushing this Zod to top and we have here username. So we are going to add email. That one is going to be the type of email from Zod like this. Then we need our password. It can be also minimum. I'm just going to put eight and username. I'm going to leave minimum two. Our schema looks good. So now we can go and put in the definition of our form and also the submit handler. So I'm putting that one inside of the component here and we need to import use form from React Hook form and Zod resolver from the Zod. And this one is not working like, I don't know why. I always need to import it like this. So we are importing Zod resolver from Hook form is over Zod and also, I already see here the error we need to put use client because these forms need to have the this needs to be client component. And now if we check here, we need to import all these form elements. So form, form control, description, form field. We are not going to use maybe all of them, but let's just see. So I'm importing that one and we need to follow this format. So for each form field, we are going to copy paste this entire thing. But first, let's just put our form like this. So I don't know if we already have a form inside of our component. No. So we are going to copy this whole thing from here. I'm copying this one, except I'm going to remove this space. 
so we are putting our form inside the content here and we should close it here so here i'm closing first this normal form and then the form from shad cn so that one is good and i'm just removing this space y8 and now we need to add for each form field this one so it should be exactly like this so instead of our first name last name we need our username so i'm going to delete this whole thing from here and adding it like this so it's already here username and here we are going to put placeholder to be username like this and we can remove the description so we don't have too many content here so i'm going to remove it from here also and let's see how it looks if we go here now so it looks okay we are just going to put it to be grid without grid calls too and now it's cool so we have username and it's working with our forms from here so now we need to do exact exactly the same thing for our email so we are removing the label and the input and here instead of username i'm putting the email except here i'm putting the capital letter in the beginning and also for our password doing the same thing so here password and putting here big p and big p here and our button is already type submit so that's good it should work let's try it out if i now click create an account i'm getting the validation errors so cool thing about this shred cm form is that this one is working asynchronously so here if i type or dev you see that already it's working so it sees exactly what am i typing so here i'm typing orc dev and now my email so i'm just going to type warrior at orcdev.com and you see it's already working also for this one the validation and the password we're just going to put one two three four five six seven eight so we missed here to put type password for the password so here in the input we are putting type password so we don't see what we are actually typing let's go once again one two three four five six seven eight and that's good if we go to our console and we have here some bunch of errors we are going to handle that one and now if we click create an account we are getting everything served for our trpc route perfect so next thing we need to do is to create our actual route so we are going to the users in server routes here you see that we have get so this one is just getting all the users from the database so now we need to create a new route and we are going to call it create like this and that one is also going to be a public procedure and except it's going to be a mutation but before we create a mutation we need to send our input and that one is going to be the zod object in which we are going to send all the data from our sign up here so here we are going to send username which is going to be type of string then we have our email which is going to be type of string and then email and finally password that one is also a string so now we can create our mutation that one is going to be a sync and we are going to send all of our things here and those are going to be like this input we are just going to use the spread operator to get all the data and here it is so now we just need are we missing here the zod i need to put in zod like this and now it seems to be good so i'm going to console log here our input or we don't even need to do that we could have just checked here the network tab and we will see inside what are we sending but it's okay so now inside of our sign up form we are going to call this mutation so i'm calling here for example let's just remove what is not used here 
I'm calling the create user. I'm going to call it like that. And I'm calling TRPC users create and then use mutation like this. Nice. And now we can just call this mutation here on submit with our values. So here I'm calling the mutate and I'm sending our values to our backend. And we see there are no type errors. So now if we actually check here and send everything, so I'm going to remove this one and here I'm going to empty our network tab. So here I'm going again, orgdev warrior at orgdev.com and here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like this. And we're sending here. So if we check our headers, we see that we are in the payload sending everything. So we have email and password and username. And if we check here, our users, we can see that we console logged everything here. So everything is working perfectly. We are sending our form data to our TRPC route. And now we need to just call our drizzle ORM here to create our new user and put it to our database. So I'm going to drizzle Next.js for that to do app where we are going to take just one add to do. So we should just call it like this. I'm going here and I'm waiting DB insert. So here instead of to do, we have our users. Then here we have ID. It's just automatically created. And here we're going to put username. So that one should be input dot username. Then we need our email and our password. So this one should work, but before we save anything, we need to hash our password somehow. So it's not saved just like this raw password. For that one, we are going to use bcrypt.ts and here it is. So we need to install this dependency and that one is easy. So we just use this one and that's it, nothing else. So I'm going to copy this one and put it here and I'm going to import this here and just install this dependency. So pmpm add bcrypt.ts and now here we are creating our hash, but from our input password like this, and we are just sending our hash instead of our raw password. So let's see if this one is working to test it out. Going again to our signup form here and everything is already filled in. Clicking, this is the moment of truth. And is it working? looks like it is. I'm going to the Neon console and refreshing here. And do we have our user? Yes, here it is. So we have our new user created in our database. So now here, if we go to the admin page and then here we go to users. Yes, it's working. And yeah, I, I forgot to put users page inside the admin, so it should be admin slash users. But we see our user here in our table. We have successfully finished actually our task. Let's just quickly move this, what's it called? The users page here from this one to admin like this. And now it should be, yeah, it's already moving the imports. Let's see if it's working admin slash users. So yeah, here it is. It's working. We have our users here and I think that sidebar is not working. Yes, I'll fix that one also. And nice, we did it. Hope you have enjoyed in this one, warriors. Stay tuned. The next thing is probably to add authentication to work together with this users table. And in the end, who knows, we can have a fully capable admin that you can just put and use on your projects.